A lot of people in the metro have been concerned and frustrated with how long it takes police to show up after calling 911. And those wait times are even longer for people from Knob Hill to the International District. But today, the city of Albuquerque announced a new way to hopefully tackle this issue. Tamara Lopez was there for that announcement. So Tamara, what's the deal? Tessa, the Albuquerque Police Department is trying something new by following the old saying, divide and conquer. All too often something happens, I, you know, it's reported, but the response time is a lag. It's exciting to hear and know that that may be changed. Jeff Hain of the Knob Hill Neighborhood Association speaks for a lot of people when he says Albuquerque Police Department's newest patrol area has been decades in the making. The new University Area Command was announced Tuesday at its new home. There's a lot of areas outside of the university where we know our student body lives and we're hoping to increase uh, our efforts to ensure that they feel safe and that we'll continue to move the needle in lowering crime and reducing the fear of crime. This is a one-year pilot program meant to bring more resources to the new command area, which includes the Knob Hill neighborhood, the university area, and Mesa del Sol. It divides the old Southeast Command area, which APD says has always been one of the busiest with the most calls. And APD says the split is already paying off. On Saturday, which was the first day that the University Area Command was fully operational, uh, University Area Command officers responded to a traffic accident in the area of Morningside and Lead and they noticed the driver of that vehicle had fled the scene of the accident. Due to the fact of the new area command, they were able to respond in a quick enough time to be able to locate the driver of that vehicle who had fled down uh, the road a couple of blocks and were able to take that person into custody. Along with the added resources, city leaders say it's a way to create better connections in the community. As a, a former cop way back in the day, it does matter a lot if our officers have more time to spend in their neighborhood to get to know our residents, to get to know their resources, to get to know our business leaders. And Chief Medina says that the officers from the now disbanded open space unit will be working in the University Area Command as well. Tessa? All right, Tamara.